So I wanted to talk about that subject for a really long time because I think social media and Instagram has changed a lot. I'm sorry for the light, like the clouds are just coming and going in a way so it's changed. Like sometimes it's light, it's full of light and sometimes it's dark in my room so I'm sorry I can't really just adapt the light. I was on Instagram like six years or seven years ago, I don't know, I was just um, in high school, I was really young and believe me the pictures um, from everyone was quite bad and um, yeah the effect, everything was just <laughs> really natural and not what we see today. Um, but it has become more and more about selling things and not only material things but really selling dreams and vision of life or body type or just you know makeup everything it, it really has changed and that shocked me because um, I used to be sometimes hurt by Instagram especially because all the day I just saw the same images and the same girls and I was like why am I not like this? I would talk generally, I'm not saying that everyone felt like that and especially if you really had um, enough confidence and if you are able to take a step back with internet and everything that's happening there then you've probably never been affected by Instagram in any way but I also know a lot of people and especially young girls and even girls at my age uh, have been affected by that I don't know if you just saw like for example um, Alex Ren or Shani Grimon, Hannah Volites or Lauren Simpson well, you have a tons of girl on Instagram. It can be about fashion, it can be about sports, um, makeup, everything. And you can totally dream. You can totally be able to dream about having their life or their body type or to know how to make up and things like that. Personally, I know I never developed a disease with Instagram or social media. But I know many girls just um, had a lot of disease, it could be depression or it could be starving themselves just to be like the older girl or just to look like Alexis Ren for example, to be as thin as them and everything. But um, I would like to, to have people who feel like that to stop wasting their time, wanting to be someone that could never ever be. and not because you are not enough but because it's like most of the time it's fake like all of these girls that you see on Instagram they have hair extension, eyelashes extensions, fake lip, um, fake breast, fake nails, um, fake tan, they have white in their teeth, everything so um, I'm just like okay you are a real person but you did it, tons of things and for example I tried eyelashes one like fake eyelashes and it was really horrible I think the person that did that to me um, didn't use a good product so my eyes just got red for a week so I said never again <laughs> it's way too helpful and it was really um, complicated to sleep with or just to put eyeliner with like it's really it's so complicated um, I don't know how these girls do that every day and um, for example um, hair extensions I already thought about that because my hair was super thin and they fell out every time so of course, it would be amazing if I could have a huge volume of hair and really long hair because even if I trade mine really well, they don't thank me. So, but I asked my um, hairdresser, for example, and I do some researches on the internet and hair extensions are just going to make your hair fall out even more. So it's really dangerous. Um, also for whitening your teeth, I just asked my dentist if it was good or not 
and first he said to me that the white teeth that we see on Instagram and everything it's n it's not a normal color for teeth like you have just a zero and ten grades of shades of whiting teeth and he said to me just like at one or maybe two so he said to me you don't need that and um of course i can do something for you but you will just pay a huge price for not really something well it's n you are in the normal grades he said to me you don't need that and he said to me if you want to do whitening teeth something um do it with a professional like a dentist and not with this kid because even if it's um cool in the short terms I think all of these girls are going to have gums problem and everything in the long term. I would say that during high school or even years after that, I was really focused on my weight um, and how I looked in the mirror and I was totally blaming myself for not being as shredded as I saw on Instagram, on these Insta babes. Um, I was really... Um, anxious and quite you know nervous about my body and um yeah everything ups and everything but uh now i just chilled about that i stopped blaming myself and i see things totally differently uh, i wouldn't talk about this in details but i just see sports workouts and eating food in a totally different way. I would absolutely love if Instagram and everything would just be more natural, like showing natural things. Um, if we have underbags, we have underbags. Um, if we are pale as fuck, it's normal because it's winter. Um, are we influenced or is it a personal choice? This is the thing that we have to ask and I struggle with that and I try every day to say to myself are you doing this for you or is it just to look like a kind of um, girl on Instagram and try to please to people because the fact is I don't even know these people and even the people that I know um, you don't need to, to have hair extensions for the people to like you I would absolutely love if social media could be nicer and more natural but I don't know it will depend on the philosophy and the thing and the way people think about it and the way people post about it thank you for listening it was a little bit long but I hope um, this helps some people maybe that just makes you think about that and see you in my next video